Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying learning big data. As a part of this lecture, we'll understand what are the different types of tables available in Hive. Two important types of tables are available in Hive at a high level. We do have one more types of table, but these are the two important tables in Hive. One is manage table. The second one is external table. In manage table, data is managed by Hive and also stored in warehouse directory. On the other hand, in external tables, data is not fully managed by Hive and exists outside the warehouse directory. In the previous lecture, we understood whenever we create a table, we understood the data defaults to user hive warehouse. Whenever you create a managed table, by default, the data gets stored in this directory. On the other hand, when you create an external table, data doesn't default to this directory. Even though storage of the data differs from managed table to external table, but the metadata for both of these tables would be there in a meta store. What it means is whether you create a managed table or external table, there'll be only one meta store just to iterate this further, assuming that your meta store is maintained in a MySQL RDBMS. As we have already discussed, this would be stored usually in local operating system. Right? Now, if you create a managed table, all the metadata related to this Manage table. When you say metadata, we already discussed information about the table, a schema, columns, any data provided by the users. All of that would be stored in the this meta store only. And when you create an external table as well, metadata with respect to the external table is residing in the same meta store. Just to deepen our understanding further. What are the tables we have created so far in our practical class? All of them are managed table. That is because whenever we create a table in Hive, if we don't specify any other keyword, if we just create a table, all of them would be managed tables. In this case, as we discussed, Hive owns the files and also directories. Managed tables are less convenient for sharing the data with other tools like Pig. They are also called as internal tables. Whenever people say internal table, don't get confused. They are talking about the managed tables only. When you go ahead and delete the managed tables, it deletes both data and also metadata. Remember, when we create a Hive table, the data would be there in user Hive warehouse directory. The data in this folder and also metadata in our meta store, both of them would be deleted if you drop a managed table. Excel tables share the underlying data across other technologies like Peak, HBase, and all these access the data which is there in external table. Usually when we want to create the external table, we provide a keyword called external. If you're not providing any keyword, Hive assumes it as a managed table and defaults the data storage to user hive warehouse directory. 
when you delete an external table it deletes only the metadata because as we know even though we created the external table by using hive we would provide a different directory path in which the data would be stored because we are specifying it as external table because the data is stored in a different directory even though you drop a external table it will delete only the metadata it wouldn't delete the data apart from these two important tables like manage tables and external tables we do have temporary tables in hive temporary tables are created within a hive session that means you have opened a terminal in that you have created a table that is temporary table whenever you create a temporary table in this terminal the life span of the temporary table is only until you close this terminal the moment you close this terminal or the session ends the temporary table is also gone why do we need temporary tables it stores the temporary data in the temporary tables we can create the tables of the same name by the different users assuming that you have a cluster within that couple of users user a and user b both of them are in the same cluster now if user a create a table called hero user b can go ahead and create a temporary table called hero in the same cluster so just to summarize temporary table can have the same name as that of a original table and also the same name can be given by the different users that is not supported in both managed external table temporary table do not support the partition and indexes it can also have same name as a permanent table wonderful we learned about different tables available in hive thank you mm -hmm.